Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to recover suspect or recovery pending databases in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning how to check database databases status, how to check SQL Server log to find out why the database went into suspect or recovery pending status, how to find reason using DBCC command that why our database went into suspect or recovery pending status and last option if we can't find real resolution um, then we have to restore the databases so let's go ahead and uh, first check how the how to check the status of the databases there are a couple options we could do we can go ahead and use uh, SQL Server Management Studio and connect with our SQL Server instance and you can expand the databases right here and it will tell you in my case there is one database that is in suspect mode or in 2000 and 2005 it used to be called suspect mode and in 2012 and 2014 I believe it's uh, in 2008 as well that it's called recovery pending so for some reason the database cannot come online that's why it's saying recovery pending so uh, we need to find out the reason why this database went into recovery but so far we are just on status so we can look at the status right here the other way to find the status we have a script right here it's really easy you need to uh, go into system databases view right here and you can check whether the database what is the status of the databases so let's go ahead and run this as you can see that I'm just uh, basically uh, selecting two columns one is name and other is state underscore descending that means the status of the database basically up here you can put it as status and it'll show the column as status right here so all our databases are online and right here there is one database that is recovery pending also known as in previous version suspect mode so um, we'll be using this method in a little bit how to find the reason why this database went into suspect mode so first method we're going to use is look into SQL Server error log because pretty much you can get an idea why this database did not come online or why this database is still in recovery or uh, suspect mode. So let's go ahead and in order to go in SQL Server error log you can expand SQL Server management uh, SQL Server agent and go into the current log so if just so that you know if the database is pending or in uh, um, suspect mode from last two days and you just notice just right now then you can go into the particular date um, in error log but since this is recent basically in production obviously it's going to be right away but uh, if your uh, development server uh, has a database uh, down and you've been busy and you didn't have a chance to look at and if it's a uh, uh, like previous um, dates then it's going to be that date you need to look into the error log of that date so we're gonna go ahead and um, look at the reason let's see that if we can find the reason why this database went into suspect mode so as you can see right here we're gonna go and find you can filter it up here the message just the demo and you can apply the filter right here and it'll tell you right here all the it will bring the messages where the your database name is demo so up here if you notice that is setting up option online for demo database starting up demo database and then next thing it could not bring the database online the database name is demo so let's go ahead and look at why it didn't come online as you can see this says operating system error system cannot f find the file specified so let's go and take a look and it says that it cannot find the LDF the log file of this particular database so we need to find out whether this LDF uh, is missing or whether it resides to another location so you can go ahead and basically get provide that location and bring the database online and put in this particular right here is the um, 
LDF um, location so you need to put LDF right here in order to bring the database online so this is one way to find out that LDF is missing so let's go ahead and run this right here dbcc check db demo uh, that is my database name and with no underscore info messages what it means when you say with no underscore info messages that means that uh, it's gonna only return error messages whatever the error that would be so we're gonna go ahead and run dbcc check db up here let's say what uh, uh, dbcc says so the database demo cannot be opened due to inaccessible files or insufficient memory or disk space so basically it didn't really it gave us few clues that maybe the files are in, inaccessible or uh, insufficient memory or disk space uh, this is uh, not a whole lot of help, but at least we know that the file is basically missing or maybe our disk space is, um, um, you know, the log file where the log file resides. If, this spa if, if the disk is filled up, then it cannot write um, more onto the disk uh, or the SQL Server restarted and cannot basically uh, bring the database online. So we get some clues from... Uh, DBCC as well so I would recommend that uh, do use this if your database went in suspect mode or in um, uh, recovery mode it, it sometimes it brings uh, much more um, you know close to our error message but uh, the be best thing to do is look in SQL Server error log and you can look also in event viewer uh, if you double click on the error you can this is sql server error this is agent and if you go in windows nt you can look in application log and you can look in uh, system log application log if usually has that kind of errors as well so i would recommend that you if you look in application log right here it will tell you the same error right here that what we looked at in sql server log so let's go ahead and recover the database now we know from sql server error log that um, it cannot find basically the LDF so in my case uh, in your case it might be that you're uh, migrating LDF or MDF the database is from one location to another location and uh, the LDF location is misplaced uh, what the location basically appeared for the SQL Server or SQL Server you're trying to restart the SQL Server and M, uh, LDF has been misplaced but this is looking for LDF at a specific place so let's go in my we know that it's um, um, right here if you look into C and look into data right here is my data file so if I go back into log I know that it's looking for demo underscore log. I just reproduce this error. I renamed this log. So let's say that it is residing at D. You may need to copy that uh, log file and bring it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So I renamed the correct file and it's looking for this demo underscore log file. So we're gonna go ahead and restart our SQL Server. So let's refresh and go in the databases as you can see that our database is recovered so it's online now the other option is that if you can't find uh, such as uh, you know file related issues or anything like that if you can't find it right away then you only option that you have is restore the database so when it comes to restore the database first you need to basically go ahead and restore the recent backup or if you have log backups and if you don't know how to restore a point in time please watch my video uh, that how to restore a database to point in time and it should help you a great deal it helps